one shorts sewing pattern, one skirts sewing pattern, two tops sewing patterns, and four dress sewing patterns coming up. So I am so excited to share with you some sewing patterns that I have made recently. So what will happen is in a couple of weeks you will see these final garments all sewn up. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about each one. So the first one will be Vogue 9297. I made view A which is the top where the model has her hand in her pocket. Now. What I have to say about this garment is that I really didn't like the final look, so I made a change to the final garment and you will get to see that. So the next pattern is McCall's 8039. I made the lily top, which is view A. Now this top actually surprised me the most out of all these makes and you'll see why when I share the make in the video. Now, the next one is McCall 7404. I made view D, which is the long maxi dress. And if you are participating in any maxi dress challenges, this may be a dress that you might want to consider. I will definitely say out of all these, that is my most comfortable make. The next make is Simplicity 1165. This is an older pattern. I made view D, which is the pair of shorts that are shown at the top of the pattern. This is a garment that I messed up on. So you will get to see how I messed up on this and how I still plan to wear the shorts anyway. The next make is McCall's 8053. I made the version D. This pattern is called Ann. The view D is in gingham. And for this garment, I actually added something to the dress that I had never done before. So you will get to see what that is. My next make is Butterick 5652. I made View B, the dress that is shown in blue. Out of all of these garments, this is my easiest make. Next is Vogue 8602. I made View A, which is the pleated front skirt. And with this garment, I will say this is one where I stepped out of the box a little bit as far as what I made the garment out of. Next is Vogue 8806. I made View B, which is the long dress. It does have a hood. It's the one that is shown in the contrasting colors. Out of all of these makes, I will say this one is the most involved. It had the most design details. Yes, yeah, so those are the eight makes that I have made recently. I am excited to share those with you in the next coming weeks, like I mentioned before. Okay, so before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. H&M stores have a recycling box in their stores where you can drop off unwanted clothing. All textiles are welcome, any brand, any condition. You can drop off old socks, bed sheets, fabric scraps, worn out t-shirts, any of that. And for every bag you drop off, you'll receive a discount card for 15% off of your next in-store purchase. I thought that was so cool. That's all for this video. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.